morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about weight and balance basics for your aircraft. So let's start with weight first. So here's what makes up the weight of your aircraft. So we have the weight of the airplane, we have the weight of the passengers, and where they're sitting, the baggage in the aircraft, whether it's in cargo mode or not, and the fuel we're adding to the aircraft. Now, we don't talk about adding the oil because when you land, you don't take the oil out of the aircraft. So that's part of the aircraft, just like the unusable fuel. Now let's talk about balance. It's the point, theoretically, on which an aircraft will balance. And designers use that so that the front of the airplane is balanced by the back of the aircraft. And you can do it for small and large aircraft, but it's the same basic principle. You look at what the weight is going into the aircraft, you multiply that weight by its arm from a reference point that gives you a moment. You add all those moments up for all the weight of everything, divide it by the real weight of everything added, and that gives you the center of gravity. That's how that is calculated. Now, you can go through the trouble of multiplying everything for your airplane, what it is when you weigh it on the main gear and the nose gear, and then from that you can work out a CG calculation for the actual aircraft. And then you can actually do the math for adding the people at their station and seeing if the aircraft is in range based upon the flight manual or the type certificate data sheet. Or you can go online and use an online editor to do that or download the code and put it on your phone. There are a number of ways to check your weight and balance of your aircraft and they're all easy to do. But you know some of them even have the graph of what you're doing on the um, to the CG envelope. And by the way, the CG envelope is designed so that as you're flying and burning fuel, you're staying in the center of that envelope. And then of course, when we're loading an airplane, we have to worry about the stations because we want to get all our moments right. We want to make sure that the CG stays in a usable range, not too far forward and not too far aft to make the aircraft really uncontrollable. So if you want to do the math yourself, here are all the really important stations. And you'll notice that the pilot operating handbook for the Tiger says baggage station 151 when it's actually station 148 by the type certificate. But the whole purpose of the CG is to, again, make sure that your aircraft is in an operable range, you're inside the envelope. And so now, hope you found all this useful and informative. Thanks for watching and have a great day flying your now well-balanced Grumman.